name is Steve Rennie and I am the Wren Baron and this is my Wren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. On today's flight, we're going to be flying an IFR route from Santa Monica Airport, Kilo Sierra Mike Oscar to KSAN, Kilo Sierra Alpha November, better known as Lindbergh Field in San Diego, California. Specifically, we're going to be flying one of those pesky little tech routes we fly all the time out here in SoCal. Now, I get a lot of questions about how to find and program these routes, so I'm going to do my best to explain the process so that you'll be ready if you make it out here to my little neighborhood. Uh, and also, on today's flight, we're going to get a valuable lesson on what to do when ATC decides to amend that tech route when you least expect it. And finally, we're going to try out a new departure procedure out of Santa Monica, which promises to make leaving Santa Monica a lot easier and a lot less stressful. In the interest of keeping the length of this video somewhat manageable, we're going to get started today in the run-up here. So come along for the ride. Santa Monica Ground 8 Fox Shots here, ready to copy that clearance if you got it. 0768 Fox Shots here at Santa Monica Ground. And just a heads up here, the initial portion is just slightly uh, different, um, but I uh, just want to give you a heads up there. Not not too dramatic. Okay. November 8 Fox Shots here, cleared to San Diego Airport via fly runway heading until leaving 1,000 feet. Then turn right heading 250. Radar vectors for the Santa Monica Papa 22 tech route. Climb and maintain 3,000. Expect 5,000, five minutes after departure. Soak out departure frequency 125.2, squawk 4674. Is this this new departure you've been uh, testing out here? Number eight Fox Shots here, and we're just in a, a trial period here with uh, SoCal just to see uh, how this, uh, this works out. I like it. Okay, let me read it back to you. We're cleared to San Diego on departure. I'm going to fly runway heading till 1,000 feet. Then I'm going to make a right-hand turn uh, to 250 radar vectors to the Papa 22, uh, Santa Monica Papa 22 tech route, 3,000 to start, 5,005, 125.2, and 4674 on the squawk. Eight five shots here. Sirs, eight Fox Trots here. Rebecca is correct. And let me know when you're done with the run up. I'll put you on the list. Thank you so much, eight Fox Trots here. Okay, now that we have our clearance, let's talk about that Santa Monica Papa 22 tech route. If you're going to be flying IFR in the Southern California area, you're going to want to make sure you have access to the chart supplements for the Southwest U.S. If you prefer to have a hard copy of these charts, you can order them directly through the FAA. They are also available in a digital format, and you can download them directly to your iPad through apps like ForeFlight, which is what I love to do. And once those charts are downloaded onto your iPad, ForeFlight makes it incredibly easy to organize them and get easy access to them. Once you've downloaded the charts you need, here's what you do. From anywhere in the ForeFlight app, go to the bottom of the page and click the Documents icon. That's going to take you to the Documents Catalog page. From here, I can access all of the charts that I've downloaded, including the Southwest Chart Supplements, all 679 pages of it. Fortunately, ForeFlight makes it very easy to find what you're looking for. You can search by keyword or contents, and when you find what you're looking for, you can bookmark it for future reference, which is what I've done here with all my Santa Monica tech routes. From here, I can select any airport in the Southern California area and figure out which tech route to use to get me there. Today, we're flying to San Diego International, so let's take a closer look at that Santa Monica Papa 2-2. To the left of Santa Monica Papa 22, you'll see all the airport identifiers that this particular tech route applies to, including San Diego. To the right of the Santa Monica Papa 22, you'll see the actual route, and then further to the right, you'll see the altitude for this particular tech route. The best way to think about the tech routes is to consider it kind of a, an ATC shorthand. So when you hear the tower say you're going to get radar vectors to the Santa Monica Papa 22, here's what that translates to. On departure, you're going to fly to the Santa Monica VOR, then to the Santa Monica 125 radial, then Victor 64, Victor 363, Dana, Victor 23, and then Mission Bay, and then San Diego direct. Here's what it looks like on my iPad. And here's another reason why I love 4Flight so much. 
that one entry for SMOP22 equals seven entries on my MFD. So it saves me time and eliminates any possibility that I'm going to screw something up when I'm inputting. Once I'm done entering that flight plan, I'll push that little arrow and send it up to the panel by Bluetooth, and then I'm ready to go. Santa Monica Tower, Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra, holding short runway 21 at Alpha 5, awaiting IFR release. Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra, winds are calm, and runway 21, clear for takeoff. Runway 21, clear for takeoff. Hey, Foxtrot Sierra, thanks for all your help. Okay, we want 1,000 feet, then we turn to the heading of 250. We got 250 loaded. Okay, got her on the line here. Let's go give it some fuel here. Okay, let's get her rolling. Right rudder right in there. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. We got full power in. Okay, trim her up. Got takeoff mode here. Looking for, let's get our flaps up. And it goes straight ahead. There's our little shake, rattle, and roll there. The 6780 is going to be our caps available. So flight level change, 120. There's our caps available. Here's a Fox Trots here. Contact SoCal Departure, 125.2. Have a good one. 125.2. Thanks for your help, 85 Trots here. Okay, let's put it in heading mode. Look out, departure, Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra 1000, climbing 3000, off of Santa Monica. Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra, so departure, I didn't. Sierra 768, Foxtrot Sierra, contact to come out southwest of Santa Monica Airport, turn right at 270, climb, maintain 5000. Uh, right 270, climb, maintain 5000, 8 Foxtrot Sierra. Now, if you look closely here, you'll notice that I'm going almost 150 knots. That new departure procedure required that I make my right turn at 1,000 foot, not stop my climb. So I'll need to reset my flight level change back to 120 knots. Okay, that'll take a little getting used to, but that's not bad. One, that is correct, sir. Okay, oxygen is not required. Power lever is pulled forward. Airspeed is 120. Fuel pump is in boost. Fuel flow is good. Engine parameters are all good right now, and we're good. Okay, let's put her on autopilot. We've got heading mode, we're going on 270, we're going to 5,000, let's do it. Okay, let's go back to our map. There's a Fox out here, turn right, right turn direct Santa Monica VR. Right turn direct Santa Monica, a Fox out here, thank you. Right on cue, we get our vectors back to the Santa Monica Papa 22 tech route. So I'll select SMO, hit enter, enter, and nav, and off we go. Okay, we're 5,000 now. Let's go to our cruise checklist. Pull that uh, manifold pressure back to 30.5. And we get our magic cyan marker there. Let's pull back the magic marker. Get it down to uh, 16. There we go. Cruise is established. Power lever is back. Fuel pump is still on. Mixture is adjusted. At good temps. Low fuel flow is all good. Mixture is good. Okay, let's go to our next checklist, which will be our descent checklist. And back to the map, of course. Okay, we're going direct Santa Monica, as you can see right here. We're 4.8 miles. Go so sync up our heading, and we're now in sync mode on the heading. Okay, after that first little surge of activity, now I have a little time to get ahead of the plane. With views like this, it's easy to become a passenger and just enjoy the scenery. But somebody's got to fly this thing, so I'm going to get back to work. So I'm going to set my ATIS and tower frequencies for San Diego into COM2. Get our ATIS in for San Diego, that's 134.8. I'm going to hit that and put it into COM2 active. And we're going to go down to tower, which is 118.3. We're going to put that, hit enter, and put that in the comp to standby. And we're going to go back to the map and then back up, back, back up top here. Looking for our targets here. We got one at 4,200 below us, 140 minus 47. Those got to be helicopters. 
right over the top of Santa Monica now. Yeah, we're There's a Fox Jets traffic pull clock in four miles opposite direction, out to the key 4,500. Uh, looking for the traffic, 8 Fox Jets here. 19-0. Hey, six miles out. Let's go flight IGN. Voice of Santa Monica, we are the alley at Timber 3007. 3 0 7 5 Sierra, just traffic in sight, passing underneath. 3 0 Fox Sierra, thank you, flight in the 160, 160 heading. 160 on the heading, 8 Fox Sierra. Okay, now we're going to hit into heading mode and uh, turn toward the uh, coastline there. Okay, right, you got to scan, I learned that lesson recently. Uh, or actually, you got to do a better job of scanning. But I'll tell you what, folks, you got some TCAS right here like we've got in the Cirrus. you got to use it. It gives you a great bit of assist in identifying the targets, and then you got to look at them and see them. With all due respect to the folks that think that, you know, you shouldn't use any of this stuff, I will respectfully disagree and say that this Grizzly old vet, I want all the help I can get when you got this much traffic in the neighborhood and hazy California against nothing but city buildings and so forth, which makes spotting planes a lot more difficult than when you're flying over grass or dirt or something where there's not as much uh, contrast going on there. So anyway, um, got to keep your eyes on the road in any event, and, uh, and so I'm keeping my eyes open here. Series 8, Fox Rod Sierra, turn left in the 130, and contact approach on 125.35. 130, 125.35, 8, Fox Sierra. Now, typically when I'm flying this particular tech route, that turn to 130 would have been followed by, when able, direct Seal Beach, but that's not what happened today. So, Cal Approach, Sierra 768, Fox Rod Sierra, level 5000. Sierra 8, Fox Rod Sierra, SoCal, Roger. Reporting 090, Joint Victor 23, southeastbound, climb and maintain 6,000. 090, Joint Victor 23, climb maintain 6,000, 8 Fox Trot Sierra. So here's where our lesson for today begins. ATC has given us a little three-part instruction here. Two of the elements are pretty straightforward. A new turn to a heading. And climbing to a new altitude. 23, let's go 6,000. Okay, let's go, uh, flight level change, 120. Uh, the part that's a little bit trickier is that part about joining the Victor 23 airway. As you'll see here, I was able to amend my flight plan and join that Victor 23 airway, but it took me a lot longer to get there than I would have liked. After reviewing the flight footage in the comfort and safety of my office, it was pretty clear what I could do better to make that whole sequence happen faster and more efficiently, and that's what I want to share with you today. Now, just to be clear, I've edited the footage of this sequence, leaving out all the stumbles and faux pas I made on the way to getting to the right answer. I'm going to post those in a separate unedited video with my own review of what I missed and lessons learned that I'll be applying on future flights, and I'm sure some of my subscribers will have some thoughts as well. Let's start with that Santa Monica Papa 22 tech route. This is what it looks like on the IFR low chart. As is usually the case when you're flying an IFR flight plan around LAX, we're not actually following the course. ATC has vectored us around the LAX Bravo airspace, and so here's where we are right now. We are south and west of our course somewhere over Palos Verdes. We're on a 90 degree heading, climbing to 6,000, and they want us to join the Victor 23 airway. So, to make that happen, the first thing we're going to need to do is figure out where that Victor 23 airway is. Then, we'll need to program it into our flight plan on the MFD. Here's what we know. Every airway has at least two waypoints, a starting point and an end point. We also know that that Santa Monica Papa 22 tech route includes a Victor 23 segment. And that segment starts at Dana. To connect the dots, we're going to need to find another waypoint on our flight plan. So if we just follow that black line up from Dana, it's going to take us to Seal Beach. And if we connect those two dots, now we have our Victor 23 airway to intercept. So I'll need to look at the IFR low charts on my MFD. Your Victor 23, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 
Victor 23. So we're just gonna- but we're not done yet. Now we'll need to amend our flight plan to make the Victor 23 our active leg. So to do that, I'm going to need to delete some waypoints. First, I'll delete Tusty, then Wakro, and then ELB. And now Victor 23 is our active leg. Okay, that's a lot of data. What we need to do? So I got to clear this one. Enter. Clear this one. Enter. Active leg there. I'm going to have put it in nav mode here now, which will pick it up when we get there. Okay. Number 8 Fox Trot Sierra, traffic approach 128.1. 128.1, 8 Fox Trot Sierra. 128, there's point one. SoCal approach Sierra 768, Fox Trot Sierra level 6000. Number 768, Fox Sierra, SoCal approach, Delta Center Three zero zero seven eight five dot zero. Thank you. All right. So had I not done that and uh, worked through that, um, I would have blown through that Victor twenty three. So I realized that I had to get rid of some some waypoints in here uh, because they gave me something else to start with. So all right, another little lesson learned. You've got to be prepared for the plan to change. Is what it comes down to. Uh, Planes turning, traffic, joining traffic, Victor twenty three right just here. A little bit slower than you. At 75% power now, we're looking good. Okay, let's think up our heading again right here. We got John Wayne Airport to our, uh, just below us here. Got anything coming out of there? Nothing at the moment. We're eight Fox Trot Sierra, just gonna maintain 5,000. Just gonna maintain 5,000, eight Fox Trot Sierra. Get to 5,000 here, let's go down. We'll go with 500 feet a minute here. Keep our power where it is. San Diego Airport, selected waypoint weather, which you see displayed right here. Winds are calm, scattered at 25,000, which is not going to be an issue in 3,007. Here's another way to look at that weather. You go hit the waypoint on your flight plan, hit enter, which in this case is San Diego International. All that information is translated, thankfully. Wind directions calm, visibility 25,000, scattered 3,007, so that's all good. Let's go back to our map. Okay, so I'll put COMP2 on monitor. Uh, yeah, Blue 44, I can agree, zero, zero, seven. Landing runway two, seven, close. November 6, 8, Fox Shot Sierra, contact approach on 125.3, have a good day. 125.3, 8, Fox Shot Sierra, thanks, Rally Up. So Cal approach Sierra 768, Fox Shot Sierra, level 5000. Sierra 768, Fox Shot, uh, Sierra, so Cal approach, expect the visual approach, runway 27 at Lindbergh, verify you are landing San Diego, Lindbergh. Uh, I am landing at Lindbergh, I'd like to do the RNAV 27 Yankee if I could. November 8, Fox Shot, Sierra, expect that. I expect the RNAV Yankee 27, thanks for your help, 85 Fox Shot, Sierra. November 768 Fox Trot Sierra, proceed direct to the Mission Bay VOR. Direct Mission Bay, 8 Fox Trot Sierra. Flight plan, go down to Mission Bay. Direct, enter, enter. Now we're going to Mission Bay. Okay, so now, let's go back to procedure. We want to select the approach. We want the RNAV Yankee 27. Cindy, come back. I was 3300, any specific speed you need? I'll see your discretion, uh, just go slower than... Start options. Minimum, let's get our minimum is uh, 680. 680. All right, so now we've got 680 loaded there. I've got everything set up here. It's back to our minimum. 372 Tango Alpha, SoCal Rock. 35, have a good day. 2435, alright. Prevo is our final approach fix. Flight 2520, traffic 3 o'clock and 8 miles southeast on 84 descending the Embraer jet. We're 8 Fox Trucks here, traffic 12 o'clock, 2 miles maneuvering, uh, 4,000 NK to type 10 hours. Looking for the traffic, 8 Fox Trucks here. 214 Alpha, I'll see your discretion and contact Marnie Tower, have a good day. So Cal approach, 8 Fox Trucks here, traffic in sight. 3 Fox Trucks here, thanks, she's caution, I'm not talking to him. 
I got these passing now, A5 touch here. Now that the approach is loaded in brief, I'm gonna take a minute and clean up that flight plan a bit. I'm gonna get rid of that KCN waypoint. It's no longer necessary as it's been replaced by the approach waypoints. Marine Foxtrot Sierra fighting 105. 105, A5 Trot Sierra. As we approach the terminal area, ATC has given us our first vector to get us inland and start squaring us up for the approach. By dialing the heading and switch to heading mode. Says he's squaring us up now. Gotta give us vectors the final. Okay, so we've selected the approach. The next thing you gotta do is activate the approach. The issue used to be it erased the waypoints when you went vectors to final. So let's just go see what happens here. I'm gonna go activate that. Now I know the twenty approach is uh, activated. And all my waypoints are still in there. Horizon 20. All right, we're right over at Del Mar Racetrack, where the surf meets the turf. Let's go back to that. Back to the charts here again. That is direct SARGS, S-A-R-G-S, hold. Okay, so that's all. We got all that. Let's go now and make sure that's all. 3077 x 3 type aircraft. And there it is all programmed out. An Go back to the map where you can see it better. Ready to talk traffic here. Traffic's coming up on your right, two miles southeast down nine for six is a Embraer jet caution surveillance. Looking for the traffic, eight five dots here. Ready to talk traffic here. Contact approach on one two four point three five. You have a great day. One two four three five eight five dots here. Thank you. Cook Alpro, Sierra 768, Fox Shot Sierra, level 5000. Sierra 768, Fox Shot Sierra, Cook Alpro, Trojan. Sierra 768, Fox Shot Sierra, Cook Alpro, Trojan. Okay, Mr. Pullo, just a little bit of power here. Slowing it down a little bit. Pull back to about 60%. Okay, we picked our taxiway. We're going to get off of Bravo 5 or 6. Got Gillespie Field in front of us. There's Rebo. A traffic uh, below us. There's San Diego National over there. Sierra State Fox Trot Sierra, are you up? I'm up, 8 Fox Trot Sierra. I'm right, Fox Trot Sierra, flying at 150. One five zero eight five cuts here. Okay, so now ATC is starting to turn me on to the final approach course. And as we lean into that turn, I'm on guard looking for traffic because San Diego is busy airspace. I'm sorry, who is that? November eight zero seven seven X ray. November eight zero seven seven X ray. The Bravo Echo three six. I don't know what else to tell you. He's VFR? He's descending? Is he radar? Oh dear. Jesus f***ing Christ. Her... <laughs> oh, I'm three Charlie Alpha from Rose. Sorry about that. One, two, eight, point, two, five. No problem. Over to Brown. Five, eight, three, Charlie Alpha. All right, Fox Trot Sierra. Descend maintain 3,800. Descend maintain 3,800. Eight, five, Trot Sierra. There's five, nine, or Papa. You're seven and a half miles from there. Maintain VFR. Prex first. Proven and separation services provided. Five, nine, Papa, Roger. SoCal Approach, Cherokee 282 Hotel Pull Papa. Pull back power a little bit. 1,800 feet climbing, Hotel Papa. As you are, checklist okay. here. Okay, number two Hotel Papa, I'm remain outside Bravo, I will get back to you. Three zero zero seven. Remain outside Bravo airspace, Bandicoot Hotel Papa. Cirrus, 8 Foxtrot Sierra, heading 180, 3,800. Heading 180, uh, 3,800, 8 Foxtrot Sierra. Uh, so, uh, mixture Number 77X-ray, say again. November 8077X-ray, I'm landing Tijuana. Uh, do you have that in your computer? I do, and I'm vectoring you around parachute jumpers, November 77X-ray. No further right than a two... 
50 heading, you can resume all navigation to TIA 1. For now, no uh, further rights in 250, thanks. 77 X-ray. 77 X-ray, contact 21 approach, 120.3. 203, good day, 77 X-ray. Right, Fox Shot Sierra, fighting 250, join the final. 250, join the final, 8 Fox Shot Sierra. Number 8, Fox Shot Sierra, you're half a mile from Ocane. Maintain 3,800 until established, cleared approach. Uh, we're going to maintain altitude, clear for the approach, 8 Fox Shot Sierra. Number two, Hotel Papa, Fox Shot, Colonel Montgomery, wind calm, visibility one zero, sky clear, below one two thousand, from your three zero zero six, runway two eight, right in use. Start through Bravo heading three six zero, two years right. Now that we're established on the approach, I'm going to set my final approach fix altitude for two thousand at Rebo. And as I do that, the plane picks up the glide path. Vector four eight. Okay, we got the glide path. Number eight, Fox Shot, Sierra, contact number two, one one eight point three. Contact number 118.3, thanks for your help, 8 Factor Out here. You're welcome. Number 2, Hotel Papa. Lindbergh Tower, Sierra 768, Fox Trot Sierra, uh, inbound on the RNAV 27 with Charlie. Sierra 768, Fox Trot Sierra, Lindbergh Tower, runway 27, cleared plan, winds calm. 27, cleared land, 8 Fox Trot Sierra, thank you. Okay, we got good speed. Get our flaps in there. Okay, got the glide path is captured. We got our heading synced. We got our mixture full. We got 50% flaps in here. We want to get out on Bravo 5 or 6. Our minimums is 680. Okay, we got good speed, we got good power. Horizon 2355, turn left when you are able. Contact ground 2359. Let's get 2500 altitude select set for our missed approach, which we're not going to use today, but you never know. Rebo. Okay, five miles to the runway here. This should start leveling us out a little bit. Let's get a little bit of power out of here. And put that extra flaps in there until we get to 110. Okay, we're starting to lose a little bit of speed there now, which is good. Four miles to the mist. Thousand feet to minimums. Approaching uh, 3.7 miles to runway two. There's our 110-ish. Okay, let's put flaps in there too. Okay. Got flaps in, we got our power set for 30-ish, got 101. Okay, we got 400 minimums. All right. 400 minimum, we've got good speed now, 90. We got our power set at 30. We've got mixtures full. We got our missed approach point set. 200 to minimums. Good speed on target. 500 AGL for 100 to minimums. We've got good speed. We've got a threshold up there. We are at minimums. Minimums, minimums. Autopilot off. Fly the plane. 
Okay, I want to take a moment to thank you all for joining me on today's flight. If you like what you see, I hope you'll click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button. My name is Steve Rennie. I am the Ren Baron, and this is my Ren Baron Learning to Fly YouTube channel. Hey, I got good speed. At good speed. On the flight path here. Good. Start pulling a little bit of power. Dead nose down. Eyes down that runway. Pulling out a little bit of power. Pulling out a little bit of power. Eyes down the runway. Keep the plane coming down. Put out a little bit of power, let's keep it coming. Rim it. Sierra 768 Foxtrot Sierra, turn right. So when you are able on the Charlie, at the, either Charlie 5 or 6, your choice, contact ground 123.9. Uh, turning on Charlie 5 and contacting ground 123.9. Thanks for your help, 8 Foxtrot Sierra. Sierra 76, Yeah, that was good. Limber ground, Southwest 1507, taxi with information, Delta. Southwest 1507, runway 27, taxi, Bravo. Bravo to 27, Southwest 1507. Limber ground, Sierra 8 Foxtrot Sierra. Uh, clear runway 27. I'd like to taxi back to 27 for a VFR departure to Santa Monica. No. Oh.